She just dropped her Twizzler. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's me, Mr. Lamb, and my wife's here. Say hi. Hi. She decided to get over her nervousness and join us for the video. So we are doing video three here. Oh, and Yoda's here. <laughs> anyway. That's pretty bad, right? Yes. Join us for video three here, and the topic is going to be plate boundaries. I'm going to teach you about the boundaries that we are going to make in the lab. Uh, video one, we saw Pangea broke apart, right? Video two, convection currents in the mantle, which caused Pangea to break apart. You remember that? Yes. Of course you do. So now in this third video, I'm going to show you the boundaries that occur on the crust. And these are going to be the ones that we do in lab. So we're going to need to have our handouts that Mr. and I gave you in class. And we're going to do some artwork, all right? So grab your pencils, preferably pens. Pens don't make a good writing instrument. And we're going to follow the animations and try to make it short and sweet so that when you come to class, we can do the lab. You ready? Yes. All right. I am ready. <laughs> or, sorry. Ready, ready I am. I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sorry. My bad. Okay. Let's start with the whole idea of Pangea. Remember Pangea broke apart? So here's a map of the plates. This is what Pangea is made of. It's made of all these plates. There are about seven different plates, right? Notice they have different names. North American, South American, African plate. They're very weirdly shaped. And the plates are moving. We know that because Pangea is moving. Remember Pangea? Yes. All right. So Pangea is separating. These plates are moving. What happens when they move is that on the crust, they make some really awesome features. And we're going to learn those features. And we're going to study them. And then we're going to make them in the lab which is kind of cool. My favorite plate is the Juan de Fuca plate. It's a funny name. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start. Let's go to the first page of our handout. All right. And we're going to start with the divergent boundary. Borde constructivo in Espanol. It's called a boundary. Se dice un borde. It's a border. In other words, it's where two plates meet. Okay. So we're going to start with divergent. Divergent sounds like divide. 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 So at this boundary, you have a division. So the two plates, which way do they go? Opposite. Opposite. They go opposite each other. Check out the animation right here. These are two ocean plates that are separating right here. And you see the little water waves at the top, right? Yes. All right? So the two ocean plates will separate. It'll create a break in the crust. And what's under the crust? Do you know what's under the crust? You should know your layers. What, what's under the crust? What's under the crust? Yeah, what's under the crust that comes out if it breaks? What would uh, come out? It's orange. Magma. 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 Look at the animation. You see how the magma starts to seep out right here? And what does magma dry up and turn into? A rock. It turns into a rock. And this makes more land. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to hit pause. I want you to go to your first page and I want you to draw this boundary. Leave a little room because you're going to do another drawing on the first tab, on the first tab of the first page, okay? So hit pause and do the drawing. Ready? Pause? pause. Ready? Pause. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, pause it, draw it. We're going to go ahead and continue. So let's go back. So now, we already know what divergent means, right? Yes. Divergent means? To divide. Divide. Dividir. Borde constructivo. The reason they call it constructivo in Espanol is because it makes land. Let's click on this one here. This is a divergent boundary, but this is a boundary that happens on land. If two land plates separate, do you get lava? I would say no. Uh, yeah, you kind of do once in a while. You can see the little dots here. It's a little bit of lava coming out. Not all the time, though. If, for example, in Africa, the land is separating in Africa and the two land plates are separating. So one half of Africa is going one way and the other half is going the other way. So eventually, all them Africans are going to be sinking in the water. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's bad. So I want you to stop, hit pause on your, on, your, on your browser. And I want you to draw this divergent boundary on the first tab of the first page next to the ocean divergent boundary. Okay? So draw this one now. Ready? Yoda says pause. Okay. <laughs> Pause. Let's continue. Now we've done divergent boundary. Now we have to do the opposite. What, what would be the opposite of divide? Well, well no, don't think of math. Don't think Farias. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Not Farias. She knows Mr. Farias, by the way. He's funny, right? Yeah. He wears those little hats. Yeah. That's funny. He has a beard like mine. Well, 
Yeah, but he has, Some, those, he has those holes in his beard, like right? That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> so, the opposite of divergent boundary is a convergent boundary. Convergent in Espanol. ¿Qué quiere decir con? Virgin? With. With. So, this boundary is plates that are coming together. This is called in Espanol un borde destructivo. So, it's being destroyed. So, let's start with one that is pretty simple. These are two land plates, and they are crashing together. So when the two land plates crash together, guess what landform is made? Mm, I have no idea. That's a mountain right there. I, I was going to guess mountain. That's a but... mountain right there. It's like two cars in a collision, head on. Boom, they hit. Boom, up goes the mountain. So I want you to hit pause. Go to your second page. Excuse me. No, that's your third tab. I want you to go to your third tab page, and I want you to draw this this diagram of this boundary here on the convergent tab do that right now save a little room though hit pause let's continue oh, you want some you want some candy yeah she wants a candy break maybe <laughs> let me go to the break let's go back awesome let's do another divergent boundary pardon convergent boundary so sorry check this one out right here what's different here um it looks like the one in the ocean is going down mm-hmm and the other one is just kind of going across. Correct. So you have one plate under the ocean going down, one plate coming across. That means that this is a convergent, meaning together, but instead of crashing into each other, one plate is heavier, so it starts to sink down, kind of like a submarine. That's going to be important later. SUB, we learned sub, right? Sub means what? Under. Under. So the one plate will go under, the other plate will go over. Guess what landform you get here at this plate? Well, it looks like a volcano. You get a volcano. So not a mountain. You got a mountain on the other example of convergent. On this one, you get a volcano. And guess what we call this process? It has to do with sub. Do you know? No. It's called subduction. Like the song, sensual subduction. You know that one? No, sorry. She doesn't listen to rap. Okay. Sorry. Subduction. This is called subduction at a convergent boundary. So I want you to hit pause. On that same tab of convergent, I want you to draw this boundary with a little volcano. Okay, let's continue. Now, we've gotten through two of the of the three boundary types that we're going to do. Let's go to the last one here. This is the transform boundary. This is where you're from. Where are you from? From California. You're from California. That's right. So let's pull up a map here, a little animation of the United States. Now, this particular boundary travels in a particular direction. It doesn't go away, divide. It doesn't go towards, but it goes up and down side to side kind of like friction when you rub your hands together mm -hmm. yeah kind of like side to side so what 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 landform do you get here you know you're in california you should know this I am. what is this here this is not a volcano right no this is not a mountain is it no no what is this one that looks like the san andreas fault the san andreas fault in california so what i want you to do right now is i want you to pause I want you to go to the second tab page for transform boundary, and I want you to draw this little map with the line following through the California coast, making the transform boundary. If you can use color, of course, color would be great. So, pause. Let's continue. Let's go back here from our animation. All righty. So, those are the three boundary types that we're going to be making. No more twizzler. <laughs> when you come to class, I want you to be prepared with the artwork, now we can discuss it, and then we can figure out the rest of the landforms that we're going to be making in the lab, all right? So I hope the video was informative. I hope that you got your art done well, and from my wife, say bye. Bye. Okay, I'm Mr. Lan. We'll see you later, all right? Oh, the force will be with you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of silly. Yeah, I know.